Coming up, food, fame and fortune. Nigella Lawson on her rise to the top. Then flying high with Fiona Horn. Why Australia's most famous witch is taking to the skies. That's all ahead on the Daily Edition. Still to come, famous friends and the fundraiser that's gone global. Find out why Ashton Kutcher decided to help out an everyday Aussie. But up next for you, swapping the broomstick for the cockpit. How Aussie white witch Fiona Horn earned her wings to help the flying doctors. Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. She's worked as an author, journalist and an Aussie rock singer. But Fiona Horn is best remembered as a modern day witch. She first came to fame after fronting 90s band Def FX. Well, these days, Fiona calls the Caribbean home. Over the last two years, she's earned her commercial pilot's licence and now, at age 50, her career sees her flying doctors and food supplies to poor communities. And Fiona now joins us live from Los Angeles. Great to have you with us, Fiona. Hi, Fiona. Look, what Thank got you, you. Hi, inspired guys. into getting this commercial pilot's licence? Well, um, I got pretty good at a broomstick and I thought it might be time to step up my game and uh, try out a plane and I, um, I thought, you know, a cockpit's got to be more comfortable than a broomstick. But, uh, <laughs> you beat me to the no, punch seriously. on that joke, yeah. I was going to say. You know he's been saving that up, Fiona. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I've been, I've been dying to say that all day. Um, no, I just, with flying, I, um, I've always... I uh, loved aviation, but I never really thought I could be the person flying the plane. And uh, I had the opportunity to get my private pilot certificate about four or five years ago, and I decided to take it further. I really wanted to fly humanitarian aid at this point in my life. You know, you mentioned I just, I've just turned 50, uh, just a month or so ago, and uh, I, I really feel at this point in my life I want to keep getting better at living, not get older, so to speak. So. Um, I started taking my flying very seriously. I got my commercial rating and I actually just passed a big test yesterday, my instrument rating, which allows me to fly, uh, when I do the check ride, allows me to fly in weather and uh, into more challenging conditions, which makes me more useful as a humanitarian aid pilot, which is my ultimate goal to uh, do that kind of service in the world. And where I live in the Caribbean now, we have countries like Haiti, only a couple of islands up from me that need help and uh, I'm excited to be able to be one of those people that can help with that. Congratulations on passing that. Talk to us about um, a typical day for you. What would you do? <laughs> well, uh, living on the island, um, I get up and I usually teach a yoga class and then I go to the airport and uh, usually fly. I mean, it, it depends. There's lots of different jobs that go on. I can be doing something like flying animals off island uh, if people, um, you know, if they're if people want to adopt animals. Uh, we have a big problem with animals on island and uh, too many of them needing loving homes. So sometimes I fly them to other islands. Uh, I meet with doctors and other people that are putting together groups to fly into other areas and deliver medicine supplies and services. And so we come up with um, ways of putting together that mission, coordinating that mission and allowing those people to get where they need to go safely, which usually involves flying into remote areas that aren't serviced by uh, control towers or nice runways. Sometimes it's just a dirt strip. So, um, but a day a, a day is busy in the islands. There's always lots to do. Yeah. Now, one time we referred to you as a celebrity witch. Are you, are you still practicing witchcraft? Would we call it that? Well, I I still have a. I, I would actually still call myself a witch. Believe it or not, it's um. I, I live a very spiritual life and I live very close to the earth. Um, I honour nature as sacred, so I definitely would say I guess I'm still a witch. Um, I am working on another book uh, that is to do with witchcraft that will come out next year by the sounds of it. It's, uh, the title's going to be 50 Doesn't Suck. <laughs> it's about living... <laughs> It's about living a happy life at 50. Um, but yeah, witchcraft's still a part of my life. I just, uh, I'm not so much the poster girl for it anymore. It's just, it's just kind of in there. It's a part of who I am. It sounds like you've got a busy year next year because uh, Def FX is also going to do a reunion tour. Tell us about that. Yeah. That's really exciting. Uh, 2017, Def FX will be doing a reunion tour and we have our original guitarist now as well. So it's three of the original members, Blake, Marty and myself, will be out on the road in 2017. So, um... We're going to announce some dates really soon and we're really excited about that. It might be the last one. This might be the farewell. 
Well, you, you mentioned a couple of times that you recently turned 50. I'm glad you mentioned it because I wouldn't believe it in a million you'll eat years. You look fantastic. Uh, how did you celebrate? <laughs> Um, I had a party on the beach actually with some friends and um, I do fire dancing now. I really love fire dancing. So I actually did a performance, um, lit up some fire and did some fire dancing for my birthday. It was really fun. You are amazing. Too many skills for just one person. Fiona, lovely to have you with us. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Fiona. guys. Thank you.